Generic greetings and welcome to Timberborn, today's beverages. A nice traditional cup of tea, the perfect beverage for building a dam and or lodge, which is hopefully something we will be doing in this game because, well, it's a city builder. But not only that, it's a city builder where you control a bunch of beavers who have survived an apocalypse and have to rebuild their society. And yes, I genuinely think that is the description. Either way, this is the preview demo of the game. I've played it for about maybe an hour and a half, so certainly first impressions only, not any sort of review because, well, the game isn't even out yet. As I said, it's a demo state at this stage. Links will be in the description for the game store page steam page and the demo which at the time recording is still publicly available so you can try it out yourself if uh, if it's still around and yeah I'm just gonna show you a little bit of it I do find it curious though that we are doing a video of a preview demo for a game that isn't out that will eventually come out into early access the only thing we can get really close to the source would be to review a design document but either way let's jump in and I'll show you a little bit of it let's go to new game and we need to select our faction which is quite interesting sadly there's only one available in this demo so we're gonna go with the beavers of Demoria. free spirits by nature they specialize in surviving in the most desolate land through sheer determination let's go to next and then we need to select our map we've either got the plains or the canyon we're gonna go with the plains because it is recommended and we'll click start the game features a couple of uh, unique concepts. Firstly, you have these seasons where you have like a, a wet season and a dry season, and you have to prepare for the dry season by damming rivers and making sure that the land stays fertile. And also, there's a lot of verticality in the game, so building structures on top of one another in order to conserve space or just expanding into into the land there. But that's not something we'll probably get into heavily into this version because, as I said, it's a, just a demo thing and we're just sort of uh, trying out a little bit. So either way, just pause it for a moment. We will have to go through the basic tutorial, which I think I can turn off, but we'll stick with it for now quick run down through the eye uh, UI should I say uh, top left well-being well, obviously higher the better goals which is currently not available in the demo it shows us our housing and employment status, the materials that we have and what type of materials they are. It's the same thing for food, the amount of water and science points we have, which we'll gather later on. And then time controls, our seasons, sorry, not our season. Yeah, well, it shows our, our work day here, which you can increase or decrease, and your seasons. Currently, it's the wet season, cycle one, day one. All the building options on the bottom, and on the left is sort of like a, an alert panel and such. So it says, building lacks workers and beaver has no jobs, five of them. So every thriving settlement starts with getting... Getting some logs. Use the bottom action menu to build a log pile and mark the trees for cutting. So we're going to go down to storage and then to our log pile. It says ground only. If something's marked as solid, you can build on top of one another. Uh, but we're just going to go with uh, the log pile for now. We're going to place a log pile probably in here because why not? And then we're going to mark all of these trees to be cut. So we'll go to trees and then to hang on, where is it? Trees and bushes. No, cut trees. That's the one. And then mark all of this to be cut. Cut. so from there and you say right all of those can be cut same thing for that section there and then also down the bottom as well you can replant them and they do uh, leave little saplings and such that they will leave to grow but you can also replant and then just un unpause it and we'll let the beavers crack on. So you can see they are now cracking on, doing their thing. Uh, that's saying that they are out of something. That's actually a lumberjack flag. So it employs lumberjacks to cut trees, extend its range by building paths. So as I said, it's all about the uh, verticality there. So we can build roads along, so we can go for, say, structures and paths. So you can have a dirt path going along. Eventually, you'll get access to wooden stairs and to platforms, because this is actually a raised platform if I spin this around. So this is our builder's hut, which has an entrance down the bottom and up the top, because it's all stacked and then all of these bits here that's like a warehouse as well so this looks like one building but it's actually different ones but there you are anyway we can see the beavers have run over to the trees and are now doing beaver stuff which currently means um, cutting down those trees and then they'll drag it back here and uh, <laughs> get that sorted let's go to continue and it says tutorial now let's uh, keep the beavers alive that, well that's generally a good thing yeah build a water pump on the river bank to secure a steady supply of water well let's do that so I'm going to go over to our water and then to a water pump it says workers want water. It says thirst increase. So that's it's 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 um, meeting that need of thirst and produces water three. Requires twelve logs. So I'm going to put it in. I mean, you obviously have to put it next to water. That is <laughs> makes perfect sense, I guess. Uh, I think we'll put it if we just put it like a straight way down here with that function uh, we can actually do that yes and then I'm actually going to preemptively go to our dirt path and run a road straight to it and oh we need to build a gatherer flag as well you should also place a gatherer flag to gather berries from nearby bushes and we're going to do that over here and once again I will run some pathing you don't need to run the pathing I just uh, prefer to do it at this stage so we're just increasing our 
sort of options here and over to food and then to a gatherer flag and I guess we'll place the gatherer flag doesn't really matter where but you can see the area of effect if I placed it over here we'd actually get you know we wouldn't get all of those because we need some stairs and also we're too far out of the building area so just place it there for now and we see the area effect and that should hopefully sort that I'm going to click on that and say our priority is high this one priority is high because I don't want them to focus building the uh, the dirt path there I don't think that would be really any good use of our time at this stage you can see the trees have been chopped down and we've got the stumps left there and eventually I think they decay or go and we've also got the little saplings which you can see the beavers are not touching but they are Good grief, that's some uh, strong beavers. <laughs> Hench beavers, as they're picking up all of these uh, logs and then bringing them over and obviously dragging them to uh, the water pump as well. Logs currently 8 of 12. Once it gets to 12, it will be completerated, so that's good. Okay, so the whole point in the uh, seasons thing is it's obviously currently wet season, so we have water. You may notice, though, that a lot of this land, in fact, the majority of the land... Ooh, what's that? Oh, we've got ruins. Wow, okay. Uh, scrap metal. So it's, yes, yeah, the ruins of society. I think humans have been wiped out. Um, at least that's, uh, I think, what it says on the pit store page. No matter anyway, even, even if that isn't the case. But the main takeaway is that you can see a lot of the land, the majority of it is this wasteland. It is all wrecked. And the way you have it fertile is basically use water. So have water come past it. Obviously, where it's high like that, it's not going to get the water propagation. But... You've got things like these uh, barriers there, which if, for example, we remove this barrier, if we demolish that, what will happen is it'll fill this with water and then the land will become more fertile around this area. Uh, tutorial for water pump is now done. We'll continue on that one. We need to build a small water tank, which should hopefully be easy. So water and then a small water tank. I'm just going to rotate that around and place it in... I'm going to place it just there. I always like to leave a little bit of a gap in order to obviously build along with roads and such. Don't know if that's the right thing to do, but it's what we have done. Anyway, they are cracking on with all of this. We also need some housing eventually as well. And food. Food is currently berries at 123, which we do have uh, this person working there. You can see they're picking up berries and bringing them back. And they do have their own voices. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it reminds me of. It's sort of yeah, like Simish type of voice, but but the, it's obviously high pitched. Hmm. It definitely reminds me of something, something specific. I just can't put my finger on it though. Anyway, water tank is getting built. I'll put that to high priority again just to crack on with that. We have 15 explosives and 9 logs. I don't know what use explosives for. <laughs> I assume perhaps the... Perhaps the blowing up the barrier can be demolished hmm I don't know we shall see I'm gonna set that to high priority as well just to see what it's like don't know how many days we have either until the dry season but in a previous game I was doing quite well and then it hit the dry season and I hadn't prepared for it and all my crops died and luckily we had enough food stored enough water stored because I'd placed a four three or four small water tanks enough water we had, we had enough water to survive through the dry season but i don't know if it gets worse as the seasons go on again it's very difficult to talk about not just what's in this version but also what's coming for the early access and oh there we go so we've opened that up and the water's going to expand there but yeah it's difficult to discuss what's going to be added and chopped and changed and things like that and you can see as the water comes inland there all of this land now becomes fertile as well so there you are and obviously you can if you want to uh, start to dig in there as well so you can go landscaping uh, and use explosives Ooh, explosive factory maybe not uh, <laughs> yeah you can alter the land as well so we we'll probably won't be doing much of that but there you are it's in nonetheless so yeah we'll see what maybe you know there'll be more seasons maybe there'll be events uh, different weather etc so yeah let's go to max speed and let these guys crack on you can see they are currently wandering around because it's not they have the work hours and then they have their free time and then obviously they go to sleep and then they're currently just sleeping on the floor there so sleeping lives in a sleeping mat and works at the gatherer flag so they just got this little uh this little sleeping mat there which is just logs and leaves and they seem to be quite content but we want to obviously do that up a little bit so just cracking on with the building of these things that is got almost all materials and 
building will be done very shortly and there we go we will go to continue it says build dirt path now uh, yes they extend the range of buildings in your village try it out well I am building all of the paths so this will be done very shortly as well so already preempting the tutorial and it says baby should now survive for a while you can start thinking about building farms producing power and generating science points good luck and that is literally the tutorial as far as I can tell so um yeah anyway over to a couple of things firstly we have I think enough food for a while because of all the berries we have enough wood for a while so I think we'll get some homes for the beavers I think that would be a quite decent thing to do now I want to probably place them in an area where it's not going to be interfering with these big areas where we can say farm on so I'm going to go over to our housing and you've got lodge and mirrored lodge I'm going to put the standard lodges in here so I'm going to go one two three and that would probably do for now and you can stack these as well but obviously you do need to um have like a way up and down like these platforms at the moment I don't have access to platforms because well platforms require science points and we also need wooden stairs which requires science points as well speaking of science points we're gonna to go to science and we can place an inventor's hut it says uh, requires workers one and produces science points three and the thing about the game is that you also need to have power now at the moment we don't have any power at all but if I was to say use this power wheel here so a water wheel you put near the water <laughs> in the water should I say and it, it provides an output and then you put that output onto certain buildings so for example the science building you can see there's like little nubs on the bottom left and right there and if I rotate it you can see there's now on the left hand side and then on the right hand side and then yeah it moves around so you have to supply this with power now because this is a demo I don't don't think you need to actually supply it with power because I've been using it without that but some of the other buildings you do need to supply that but anyway nonetheless we'll get on with the rest of this um, I do want to build a dam sooner rather than later but we shall see I'm going to oh yeah, you can see the pumps actually working there so it looks like it's a like it's something that has to be actuated by the beavers themselves so it's not auto magic seems to be unemployed is two people Shows on the bottom left, Beaver has no job. Oh, and also someone's grown up as well. So, we have eight adults, three children, 11 that are homeless. But each one of these provides three. Ah, so we need a little bit more then. So we need a little bit more housing. I'll put another lodge there. Why not? There we are. And I'm going to... I think run well we'll get some science points for a start I'm gonna put the science building for the time being I think just put it around here there we go and then I can run a path not that we need one but I can run a path along to there there we are and if we want to go up that way we can as well but that'll be mm, problematic we'll see we'll see so berries are still in place wood you can see we've chopped a lot of this down now so we may have to start to replant that we still have two people that are homeless but we have got this other lodge getting built let's think about oh there we go we now have another home so there's all the people inside good 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 so let's think about maybe getting some more food because eventually these berries will run out and you can see you know they are getting a bit low and it takes time to grow crops so I'm gonna place a farmhouse and where you place a farmhouse I think uh, dictates where you can actually farm but we'll place one of them there and then I'm gonna make probably a fairly large farm back here but that, that's not dictated by the farmhouse it's dictated by your um, where is it it is in food no plant crops we've got carrots and potatoes so I'm gonna plant some carrots and I think I'll say carrots there and along to it might seem quite large and it probably is there's all of our there's all of our carrots and actually you know what I will cancel some of that like that and then we'll go for taties what's taters and something like actually I'm gonna probably put it there and cancel that cancel that section and put carrots along there because this is like a way up to these trees and oh your beavers are happier than ever you have reached a new well-being high score we can't check goals out but I assume the goals will give you little bonuses as you progress on so anyway we've got these uh, these in here and once the farmhouse is built the people that work the farmhouse will start working the fields 
I think you can as well use things like irrigation towers as well so to irrigate the ground around here to turn it into fertile land. Um, I think you can also have things like, where is it, hauling post? No. You have other farming things as well. So you have like uh, wind like uh, windmills and stuff and to just provide bonuses. So there you are. Anyway, it looks like we have our research uh, or inventor's hut here yeah you can see it has an input there but there's no input though at the moment and it's just researching i'm going to guesstimate that that will be different in the full game it looks like water is actually full in this water tower so i'm going to place some more water towers specifically three more water towers because why not and oh you can see we now have this beaver who is working in the fields we can assign another beaver to it if we want to which i am going to do that it says workers max two there was only one there so i've put another beaver on that job and what else do we need to do well as i said i think i need to dam this place and i'm gonna say build a dam where's the best place to build a dam if i put a dam say across across there that would be a thing quite reasonable so i'm gonna run a path there first so over to paths and then to pathing and um, if we run it across there I can run a path like that. You can destroy these berries and such if you wanted to. And I may end up removing some of them, but we shall see. We shall see. Science points currently 18. What else do we need? Well, in terms of power, we don't need to create any power yet. There is a leisure uh, center sort of thing. It's a campfire. Ground only must be built on the ground. Satisfies social life goals. Um, I think, you know what, we'll actually put it there. It looks like a nice, quite nice decent place for it i don't know how expansive the game is wanting to be whether you have a huge sprawling thing with huge dams as well like you know several blocks tall dams i have no idea i guess the fun will be in finding out when it comes to the full version of the game but there you are have we uh there's there's beavers growing up but we haven't got any new beavers you can also work hours, as I mentioned, so you can say working hours is 24, so they always work. I'm going to keep that down to it's 16, which is what it was previously. I assume that uh, the well-being is all right. Yeah, we're okay for hunger, thirst, sleep, and comfort. Knowledge, it says, need to be satisfied by adults and in awe. Okay, interesting. We've got social life, fun, and nutrition. So I think when we get, like, these carrots and such, they provide different... Uh, very like very nutrition level so you know you'll have that goal fulfilled as well and you can see they're all going to this this small water tank and having a drink or going into there as well <laughs> currently on cycle one day five uh, it's currently wet season and eventually it'll start moving up to show you how close you are to the dry season which I would hopefully be able to show you but we shall see in terms of building we probably need to expand our building area I'm going to go for some wood here and we got a lumberjack so we've already got a lumberjack flag in which is um where is the lumberjack the lumberjack is there but i'm gonna put one does that get there if it's there which it is it doesn't get all of that so i'm gonna put i don't think i'll put another lumberjack in but certainly i do want to put a a builder's flag i want to put it in there just so when we start building the dam we have access to that the dam itself is in landscaping and dam and i can build it right across so it's too far from the build area but once it's once it's got these it should connect up should and it doesn't just block it completely this dam it doesn't just say right that's it and watch things fall over the top uh, it does specifically state if we look Blocks water but allows some to pass through a slipway on at the top. So hopefully I won't flood all of these fields. But I'm guessing that's something that they have catered for. <laughs> it would make sense it being part of the part of the game. I do want to dam this bit and maybe even dam that bit there. But I've had limited experience in uh, damming in the game. So well, dam damming anything in general. It's not it's not a skill set I sadly possess. Um, I think the last time I did any damming would be in City Skylines, and that was, t well, that was, it, it wasn't water, it was sewage, I'll be honest, and there was a lot of overflow, shall we say, I, I don't really want to talk about it, quite frankly, um, but yeah, we've got this uh, campfire almost built, this is also, uh, the builder's flag is in, so they can crack on building, and oh, also looks like these trees are starting to be removed, I think we'll probably place a forester in as well, so we've got... 
Uh, don't need a hauling post. Uh, in wood, we do have a lumber mill. That So this turns... It says, workers produce planks from logs and does require power input. 50 horsepower, specifically. Farmhouse and a grill. Oh, we got a grill. Oh, yeah. So it's grill, it makes grilled potatoes and nutrition, too. There you go. There's your uh, different nutrition things that I mentioned. Mm. Forester. Requires 60 science points. Okay. Plants, trees, and bushes. Don't have one at the moment. Sadly, this is a bit of a misplacement here because we're going to have to go around over to this area if we need power. But there's already a lot of stuff that they have got to do. Berries are on mm, 69 and these are on 62% for their growing. And carrots are... That's the carrots, sorry. The potatoes are on 32, so it's a, a lot less. So yeah, all these berries you can see, they are, they are now... Alive, watered and alive, but fruit growth is only like, you know, 52% on that one, 40 on that one, etc. And, oh, it looks like they are building the dam. Just requires logs. Other buildings may require different sort of items. So, for example, uh, where would it be? There's some buildings that require different types of wood. So, the lumber mill produces planks. Oh, there you go. There's our goal reached as well so we're on level five now i assume that's because i assume that's because we're oh, fulfilling social life needs good all right yeah there's some of the buildings that require different types of like logs so in, in this case we just need logs but there's other ones that need planks and we need to create planks somehow uh the grill Requires logs. Oh, no. So, I can't see exactly what. Oh, there's metal there. Scavenger hut. Scavenger scrap metal from ruins. <laughs> I don't know if you're going to be able to mine uh, metal or anything in the game or whether it's just going to be a resource that you find. I think it might be more interesting to just, like, salvage it. Oh, there we go. There's the first level of the dam that we've made. Obviously, it's going to take a while to build the rest of it. But, yeah, cracking on with that, but obviously it's taking a little while there. Looks like water is at 100%, so we've got good water storage for the time being. Research is also pretty good. There's also a warehouse. Other buildings can be built on top of this. This is our warehouse. Do I want to place a warehouse around here? I... I don't know where the best place for a warehouse would be. Mm, don't think we really necessarily need a warehouse. Oh, here we go. Here's some carrots that are ready to go. These ones are almost ready to go, but you can see the order in which they were planted, so it was from here outwards. So these ones are already, and these ones are getting there as well. So I'm going to guess they're going to store it in this warehouse here, and it seems like they've got all the desired for that, whereas carrots just says 24, desired is 20, and it stores up to 200. Well, if each one of these provides three carrots... Oh yeah, we're going to need some storage. Okay, let's put that in sooner rather than later. So over to our over to our storage and then to the small warehouse. And I'm going to place a small warehouse in here. And obviously then connect that up with some pathing there as well. And allow them to do that. Dam is still progressing. You see the water is now flowing a little bit around it there. Goal. Oh, there was our well-being up to six now because we've got hunger, thirst, sleep, social life, nutrition... And comf uh, nutrition one and comfort. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, pretty good. All right. So we're doing seems to be all right. We've got twelve beavers. That is eleven adults, one children, and three, six, nine, twelve. So we only have space for the exact amount of beavers that we have. So there you are. We can get access up to the top here to these logs, but these can't be replanted. These pines. So I'd have to probably expand along up to the top put a forester's hut up there is that the best thing to do um i think i will i'll wait for this to be dammed first because obviously there's a lot already going on i'm going to turn off the water pump because as you can see we've got 100 percent water on all of these so it doesn't seem really to be much point oh science is at 102 so we can probably start unlocking things i'm going to unlock in our paths and structures some wooden stairs 70 science points which we can now do and that means that you if you wanted to we can put like stairs up to the top here 
and we can have different platforms. So I may end up doing that. In fact, if I was going to housing, can I place them like that? I can't place them like that, but I could place them like that, and then you get different. You see the yeah uh, the, the access ways. <laughs> um, if I put it like that, we could put stairs in. Could put stairs in. Okay, but at least we have the option now to to build up there. Construction materials one is lacking. What are we needing? Logs. Okay. And two beavers have no job. It's because I've turned that off. I think it would be best then if I have... Alright. We don't need a builder extender, but I do need a lumberjack flag. And I'm going to place a lumberjack flag in here. And run some paths to it. So between the fields, which I'm not that keen on, but there you are. But hopefully... This should be pretty good with the carrots and all that. Going to go over to our cut trees and obviously just select all of those trees. Helps if I actually select the trees. And you say cut those down. And it's just going to chop all the logs down. And they won't regrow because it's not on fertile soil as far as I'm aware. And there's the dam. Quite nice. You can see the water flow changes behind there. Because it's not flowing as much. I'm hoping the damming across there is not going to prevent uh, push all this water up. I'm guessing ideally I want them on there as well, but it takes so long to do. And <laughs> here's our our campfire. Lives in a lodge, works at the gatherer's flag. And they're just socialising, having a bonfire there. I mean, admittedly, they do have a firing, but, I mean, everything is made of wood. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to assume that they're, they're going to have, like, fires in the game and such. But who knows. Well, let's just realise that up there as well as birch. Could probably build up there, couldn't we? If we did that, get access to it, and then have our pathing to there. And then, because we're close to that woodcutter, or that lumberjack, see, now this, it shows you the the range they have access to, but I'm guessing once this is done, they'll be able to go right to the top. We shall see about that. There's the lumberjack flag in there. It's currently, uh, sadly, nobody nobody's employed there. So that's curious, because we have beavers without any jobs, but there are jobs for them to work. Hmm. I don't really know. Maybe it takes a little bit of time for it to be sorted. Employs lumberjacks. So, unemployed. They are 39, uh, 29 days old. Unemployed. Alright. I wonder how we can switch jobs. Curious. Can't increase the jobs here. There's no visitors. No, no one will fly on the campfire. Got gather a flag there, yes. We got build a flag working there, yes. And but then, no one working here. No unemployed beavers in range. Ah, oh, maybe because of the housing, it needs to be within the housing range. I'm guessing. It's just a wild guess. It's, it's a possibility. We shall see. Dry season approaching. Okay, so this is the slightly worrying part. It's where we need to make sure that we prepare or care for it. So it's going to take a little bit of time to get here. Get here. <laughs> As if it's heading down river. You know, the opposite. The river's not going to be heading down shortly. That's the point. So we need enough water in these water tanks. So we'll have a look at that. And we need to get this dam done. So I'm going to prioritise the building of the dam like such. Like so, should I say. They are the... Very keen on building this path. What does it actually take? The path thing, I didn't really see. No, it just doesn't take anything. It just takes time. It doesn't take resources. Yeah. It says extends the range of buildings. And that one there. The logs. We need one more log. <laughs> then they get it done. I'm going to increase the amount of work hours. Although, that is the safe. That's your night time there. Hmm. 
Dry season approaching and looks like it's going to be basically the next couple of days and we'll have this dry season. And we'll see what it's like. I'm just wandering around with a log on your shoulder. <laughs> All working on this thing here. We are on build progress 50%. 10 logs of 20. And yeah, it is actually a one-to-one. -one. So they're carrying a big log on their back. That does genuinely mean one log. So, ah oh yeah, when they're doing things like this, like getting these trees, and these trees, yeah, it's, it is actually genuinely, you can count the amount of logs you'll get. Oh no, each one gets two logs. So yeah, you can do the math on it if required. Um, just double check. Plant crops, no. Cut trees. Yeah, we've got all the cut tree areas in. Let's remove a cut tree area there. I don't think well, this will be done in time. I'm hoping it will be. Just taking a little bit of time to bring all these logs. We're on 75%. 16. I'm going to increase the work hours by, a couple, by two hours. So they're still working now that it's dark. So they probably won't be happy about that. Oh, we've just started uh, gathering potatoes as well now. And they say they're hungry. Yeah, okay. So extending that work hour, not necessarily a, a great thing. Currently, I think we have one more day. One more day to build that. I assume that we'll get this done. There we are. But we do need to get that last bit. And I don't think we're going to get it done today. But I don't think immediately the whole thing just dries up. We have a little bit of a bit of a grace period. We probably need to build... Oh, hang on. There's someone now working at the lumberjack flag. Oh, brilliant. So they are actually cutting these down as well. Yeah, a dried out and dead tree. All these ones. Whereas these ones, it's watered and alive. Oh, no, we're on halfway. Halfway there and increasing. 100% water in our water tank. Which is good. Storage is up. I haven't altered any of the desired stock or anything like that. And we're on 19 logs. Dry season is approaching and looks like we will hit it in the next couple of seconds really. So let's see. This is the dry season. So things are now going to start to dry out. We'll get that damn built. Just realised how how much this train is like, just very, it's very undulating. I can't imagine building in around these sides here. Or maybe even filling it with water would look pretty cool as well, but you'd have to obviously cut huge swathes to this. We've got a big canal network going on. That is on 19 logs. And the other one's coming along. And there's our dam. So the dam is built. And it seems that the water is higher on this side. I don't know if that's just my interpretation of it. It looks like it's higher on that side, yeah. So I'm just going to keep an eye on the water level. So cycle one, day 17. Let's get some power. So over to our... Actually, are we going to build these first? Stairs. Ah, they require planks. So yes, we definitely need planks. So we do need power. Over to our power then. And you've got two types of power. Water wheel or the uh, power wheel. Power wheel is just literally the beavers stand on it and run. We don't want that. We want the standard water wheel. I say standard. There's nothing standard about it. But we're going to place it in... I think there is not unreasonable. As long as it's in water, we should be fine. That's, again, the problem though. That water level will be going down. So I've ordered the building of that. That'll take a little bit of time. In fact, I will prioritise that. It requires 50 logs, in fact. Wow. So actually extending up to here was definitely worth it. Um, I'm going to also say for cutting trees, please continue cutting all of these trees as well. There we go. It seems to be that the berries have now come back as well. But obviously we've got decent food. We've got 51 berries and 106 carrots. Uh, potatoes is 17 because they do require roasting. So over to our food and then to a grill. It says it needs logs 
and pretty much that's it and we'll place it next to the farmhouse there to see if we can sort that i'm just i keep looking back over here to see if like the water level has gone down or anything doesn't seem to i don't know can't really tell can't really tell anyway yeah look at all these big structures loads of scrap metal in 120 120 120 15 yeah so how we're doing for building over here 17 of 50 oh hang on so there you go water level is definitely decreasing you can see that so downstream this will eventually start to dry up that means all the land won't be fertile anymore oh there you go look it's still flowing a little bit ah there's the dam I've dammed it there <laughs> so I'm gonna keep hopefully the crops alive which is what I wanted to do but ideally oh good grief yeah it has it actually stopped ideally you would want to dam it there to back it up all the way to here but it depends on the height of this water course as well hmm well let's say that the objective is to keep the crops alive for now that water wheel is not going to do much <laughs> and there you go drying out this is the dry season after all I wonder what options we have for water storage. We have irrigation towers and large water tanks. I wonder if there's a way to store water and pump it back down the river. I don't think so. But, there you go. Oh, see all the land change? So all this now has changed to this sort of dried earth. And if you click on each one of these, it'll say it drying out and will die in X number of days. 11.8. So this dry season... It's not going to be that long. So these are not going to die off. But the crops, I think the crops, uh, they do dry out a lot quicker. They do dry out a lot quicker. Good grief, my stomach. <laughs> Dinner is in order. Um, yeah, I think these dry out a lot quicker. Water and still alive. It's not telling us yet. Yeah, so the trees, the, the trees will be fine. But other things, I don't really know much about there. Checking for these berries. Blueberries die in 8.3 days. So these will all be fine. You can see though, it's all... It's all... All this is dry. Okay. But we are still... Because we've dammed all of this. We've got a little bit of water. Which I'm guessing will slowly go down anyway. I don't know if it takes into account usage or evaporation. That sort of thing. So if we had a pump here, I don't know if it's going to pump it down or... Whether it will slowly evaporate. But because we've done this, we've kept these fields fertile so we can still plant so we've got more than enough food and more than enough water as well to keep us going this water wheel is almost finished once it is finished we obviously want to start to uh, use it to create in this case lumber so i'm going to place a lumber mill in well, i'm going to place it in here you can see it's got all of those little nodes that i mentioned on the side there so i'll place it there and i will run a path to that i don't know if there's going to be extra paths as well we shall we shall see. And once I've done that, which is almost done, hopefully we can get the water back. But this dam's working alright. And you can see, yeah, the lowest points in the land here. But there's still a bit of water in it. Okay, good. Current on currently on 84 water. It doesn't tell me like any readouts doesn't give me any readouts for like our overall positive and negative traits per day like a daily thing right what wheel is now in power output is zero and network power supply <laughs> is zero horsepower okay but once that's in i'll be able to show you the other stuff dry season's almost finished and it does look like the water may have gone down but i can't really tell Seems, yeah, it seems as if it has gone down, but I don't know. Not 100% on that one. The main thing is that the carrots are doing well. We have our grill that I've ordered. It's going to take a couple more logs to get sorted. And obviously these trees here are still growing. Same on the left-hand side. And these ones, we're just removing them. If I made that 
if I irrigated this, these wouldn't grow because they're already dead. So, yeah. I'll be very, I'd like to see what happens if this was pumped out. What if we demolished that dam? Uh, I don't really want to find out. Well, I do want to find out, but I don't really want to demolish anything. And here we go. So the water is now flowing again. So the water is now flowing down this water course. And once again, all of these are now watered and alive. And you can see they're now growing as well. So once it's connected up to here, it'll go through this and then work its way back. So that's good. We have our we have our grill. So Jin Jin is working the grill and turning potatoes and logs into grilled potatoes. And ah, there we go. So now that the water's back, see it's flown through here. Yeah, good. It's now producing power, but we haven't got power connected to there. This is where we have our power distribution solution systems. I'm going to place, well, you can place lots of different types of like T intersections and things like that. I'm going to place probably a T intersection there. So we have an output that side, an output that side. No point in having it there. And then we're just going to go straight into the side of this. And this is what really intrigues me, that we have direct connections. So it, it's, I find it really interesting that you have to think about the connections and already it's like the routing of the power. Yeah, that, that's, that's the sort of thing that I really like. Things like oxygen not included as well, where you have to physically route the wires and the pipes and everything. Um, and obviously they take up an actual bit of space rather than just, you know, you put it magically underground or whatever. I like that. Yeah. I mean, similar games like Satisfactory and Factorio and, you know, other building games are available. I just like the physicality of the connections like that, which is pretty good. So we're on cycle two, day two now. I don't know whether we're going to get the ability to find out more weather and stuff like that. Whether or not we'll get, like I say, different weathers. We rain, storm, uh, different seasons. Well, at the moment, you've got dry season and wet season. Whether there'll be, like, a freeze or anything like that. All this is TBC. And we're up to well-being 7 now. Because we've got hunger, thirst, sleep, social life, nutrition 1 and 2, I'm guessing, because of the, the baked potatoes and comfort as well. So, fun. Why haven't we got no fun? We do have leisure facilities, but I don't have... Oh, a temple. A beaver temple? So that's my spirituality. So what do we need for fun, then? Monuments. Thousand science points. That's in awe. Um, don't need extra housing. There's a hauling post. Storage, no. It's not a scavenger hut. An engine. Ooh. Temple or a carousel. <laughs> I don't know if all needs can be fulfilled. We have 98 berries, 44 carrots, and... Uh, between 55 and 47 baked potatoes. Ah, there we go. So there is the gearing now in place. So this is where we've got our water wheel. It's it's turning the wrong way. 2 out of 10, literally unplayable. Cannot unsee. The wheel's turning that way. It's turning from our angle uh, clockwise. Yet the shaft that's outputted is turning anti-clockwise. The rest, this, this gear connection is still okay. Ugh. Anyway, so the lumber mill is, is now built, so that means that, yeah, we can now produce, well, if we had some people working there, uh, we can now produce some cut logs, which means we can then build these steps and then go up the top there. But, I think that's really all I want to show for now. Yeah, need a bit of timberborn. Overall, I like what I see. Obviously, it is the preview demo of a game that is due out in early access, so... We're almost checking out a concept rather than anything else. But, I do like what I see. The theme of it itself is quite cutesy. Um, although it does have this quite dark undertone of the world's being destroyed. <laughs> We've got these ruins and humanity is all gone. Um, perhaps deserved, who knows. But I do like the seasons where you've got the wet season and the dry season. You have to plan for that. Uh, the whole having this fertile soil thing is good. And very much the connections here. I like that as well. Obviously, things like this one, the Hunt and Venice Hunt not having a connection, it's just demo purposes. But yeah, looking forward to trying out 
another version of the game, whether that be an early access or the full version when it comes out, and to see what it is like. I'm getting very strong banished vibes off it with this added environmental aspect to it, which is not bad at all, I don't think. Either way, that's a quick preview of the demo. As I said, links are in the description, so you can check the game out yourself. As of the time recording, the demo is still publicly available, and that may stay there, may not, but if you want to check it out, then, you know, have a look at those links. And, yeah, if you want to see more, by all means, let me know if you have any suggestions for better ways I could have done this, maybe damn it in a different place, or better build orders, etc. By all means, let me know, and what you think of the game as well. Just nice to hear your thoughts and feelings on it. Either way, hope you have enjoyed this little look at Timberborn. <laughs> hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.